Well, I'm David and this is Sharon and we're going to show you how to put buckets on a pallet in case you're shipping them for PDA to our warehouse here in uh, here outside Little Rock, Arkansas. So this is uh, our instructional video. First you start with a pallet and this is a standard pallet which should measure 40 by 48. Once you've gotten one of those then you're going to put four buckets down the middle to center them. So we'll, we'll go ahead and do that. You always want the bucket lids just touching each other. Once you've got that lined up well, then it's just a question of putting in the other two sides so that they touch as well. Now this bucket is too tall, you'll notice. So we're gonna save it and put it on the top doesn't throw off our levels. Okay. Once you've got the first one on and you're, you look to see this relatively centered, then it's uh, simply following the same pattern. You can go up to three levels. So um, we're going to go ahead and do that. After three levels, it gets too wobbly. So we stop 36 buckets is the max. You may notice that we have Church World Service stickers on ours. You probably don't have those at your church. That's okay. We'll add those here. Now, you may not have 36 buckets. You may have 27 or 18. Or if you have more than 36, of course, you'll have to do a separate pallet. But um, you just won't want to put 12 per layer. Now, if we had a partial layer, that's okay. You might have just, you know, less than 12 on top. No problem. Uh, we'll show you now how to shrink wrap. You'll need to borrow a shrink wrap spool uh, from somebody if you don't have these uh, handy at your church. Now if you, if you have two people it's a little easier but if you have one you can just tie the shrink wrap to the pallet and then pull it around. So it's really the shrink wrap is all that holds it on the pallet so we we're pretty generous with the shrink wrap. We may go around 10 or 12 times, go up a few inches each time. Uh, but shrink wrap is cheap, and so the truck drivers like it when we're relatively generous with that. So one other thing you'll need to do while you're before you're done is to put the address of our camp and conference center on it. So what we do is take an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, write Ferncliff, the address, contact information, slide it down here so that the, it's visible. I think that's it. We look forward to getting them at camp. Uh, thanks for sending buckets our way.